Hello there. Now, as you know, by now, I have a thing for democracy. It's just what I do. One of the things I enjoy. You might have heard that there is a by-election going on in Hamilton West at the moment, which is all sorts of things according to the media, like a bellwether election, which it's not. And, you know, doom and gloom and who knows what else is happening. So I'm teaming up with my friends at Free FM in Hamilton, which is Hamilton's access radio station. You can listen to them at freefm.org.nz. There's a whole bunch of very cool podcasts you can download from there as well, including one from yours truly. Anyway, I'm teaming up with them to bring a Free FM and Paul, the other one, co-production, where we're going to sit down and hopefully, fingers crossed, have a chat to a couple of the candidates that are running in the by-election. And I thought I'd give you an in on the process of how we set this up, because... It's really important for you to see how media works in this way so that you can trust that we're going to do things properly and that it's not, you know, fake news media and that other kind of bullshit that gets thrown at me every time there's an election on or I say something about politics. So I'll give you a quick rundown as to how this is all working from my perspective. So first things first, it's trying to work out who it is I actually need to get onto the show because there's at least nine candidates at this point who have put their name in going after this particular role. So I'm going to be leaving it to these four people. And the reason that these four have been selected is because they represent people or organizations that have already been in parliament. So they're the most likely ones to get your vote. And at least four of the other candidates are science-denying COVID deniers who have no idea that they're big spreaders of misinformation, or they do, and they're assholes about it. So these are the four people that we're going to hopefully get on board. We've got Georgie Dancy, who is the Labour candidate. You've got Dr. Gwarev Sharma, who's the MP who resigned, who kicked this whole thing off. He's running under the Momentum Party. You've got James McDowell, who is a Hamiltonian running for ACT. And you've got Tame Portaka, who is the National Party candidate as well. So emailing these four is the first step and saying, hey, this is what we're doing. And it goes through and really clearly lays out how long the broadcast time is, the sort of time frame for when it will be broadcast, which will be after voting opens, but before voting closes. So between the 24th of November and the 10th of December. It hasn't covered things like topics because I want to get their feedback on what they think is important to the people of Hamilton West. Or in at least one case, if they know where Hamilton West is, hmm... All of this will be collated and then I get a time that works best for each of them instead of me going, do it here now, because I don't like getting emails like that. And from there, it's just a case now of seeing who can do what, when and how they're available. Because this will be broadcast through terrestrial FM broadcast as well as put out through podcasts and streamed online, there's a huge potential to get out there and reach the voters of Hamilton West, which is really important. But I'm keen to know what you want to know about the people that are running for Hamilton West. Why is it important to you?